Something recommended by wellness gurus I've come across is list things you're grateful for. So every day I've written down five things to be grateful for. It was the single most important thing I've ever done. I rarely feel like a single book made a lasting change in my life, but this book really has. Made by Kurtzgazat, they made a video a while back about gratitude. We want to talk about one of the strongest predictors of how happy people are, gratitude. Then they released a gratitude journal, which I promptly bought because I'm a sucker for journals. So I got the journal. Do as John Green does, they say. I'm just gonna try it, see how it feels, and report back. That's what I do on this channel. Seems like these questions are for the end of the day. I'll do it at the end of the day. It's actually the next day now. I haven't showered, so I haven't changed my shirt. Or did I? I forgot to do this at the end of the night. I want to do it now, but I'm being pulled towards working on other stuff. It's just hard to get myself to turn off the part of the brain that wants to do the other things. But that's the whole point. You're supposed to take time out of the things you have to do to do this, right? Here's a funny line. You can't fail at this. Nobody is watching. <laughs> All right, wrote it. Went to the doctor. I planned a bunch of videos. Kind of made an amazing dinner. Had a very good bedtime routine with Ada last night. It was a very full day, but before I started writing this, I, it did not seem that full to me. I feel more accomplished, which has kind of given me confidence to accomplish more today. What would you be grateful for today? Loving wife and daughter. Sushi. Thank you to the Japanese culture for taking fish and make it into like savory bite-sized candies. Great weather. I never think about the weather. Like someone comes up to me and is like, hey, nice weather we're having. And I'll be like, oh wait, really? Oh yeah, it is nice weather. Didn't shower. That's one thing I'm grateful for. I don't have to be presentable. Cause I'm lucky enough to be a YouTuber with no pride. I'm grateful for video technology. Turn on auto everything and it's good enough. Oops, it's focusing on my hand. That's okay. I'm grateful that I'm someone who doesn't care about minor slip ups like that. This is good. This is good to remember this stuff. This is good. Yesterday, China and I had a free day because Ada went to her grandparents' house. My parents, it's the entire reason we moved to where we live now, to be near them so they can see their grandchild as well. Take our grandchild when we need a break. They've been supportive of me my whole life. I'm very lucky and I know it. It asked me what I'd be sad about that's missing from my life. Family, friends, duh. My beard, duh. Movie theaters, advances in medicine. I have an inhaler because I have asthma. I've been able to breathe because of that. Dental care. I'm about to go get my second booster vaccine. I just had tetanus and a pneumonia vaccine last week. We eradicated polio. Smallpox. Running water. We have a whole system to make sure water gets into everyone's home. That's incredible. Temperature control. It's been horribly hot out and it's horribly cold out in the winter here in Wisconsin. And you can just be fine inside. Not everywhere has that. I appreciate that I do. I'm glad my YouTube channel exists. Making videos for you is exactly what I feel like I was made for. What if I was born a thousand years ago? I'd be like, where's my YouTube channel? And now it's time to take a break from our ritual of gratitude journaling to thank the sponsor of this video, Ritual. They're known as a great source for monthly multivitamins and protein, but now they got a new thing called Symbiotic Plus because it's a synergy of prebiotic, postbiotic, probiotic supplements designed to support gut, digestive, and immune health. What are all these biotics? Well, prebiotics support growth and activity of all the beneficial bacteria in the gut. Whoa! Living in the gut! Probiotics are living microorganisms that relieve bloating, gas, and mild occasional diarrhea. My nickname in high school. And postbiotics provide fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and support gut barrier function. My current nickname. It comes in one daily capsule, essenced with mint, and it's delay release so that it reaches the following colon. The colon, not the stomach. Transparency is at the core of everything Ritual does, which is why the capsules are see-through. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you know, the way the nutrients are sourced to the environmental impact of the materials to ship thousands of orders. I've been taking Symbiotic Plus for the past several weeks and my gut thanks me, don't you gut? No, my gut doesn't talk, that would be really scary. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual is offering you 20% off your first order using my code Wheezy20. That's 20% off your first order by going to ritual.com slash Wheezy20 and using the code Wheezy20. Thank you, Ritual. I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful for grateful gratitude journals. Let's go back to doing the gratitude journal. Got my uh, second COVID booster yesterday. Pretty exhausted. What would I be sad if, I, if it was missing in my life? Coffee. 
See my neighbor walking by. Good neighbors. When we first moved in, they brought us a pie. Who does that? It had nuts in it. I was allergic to it, but it was very nice. And nicer if they had done a little research for us. Just kidding, Sam, if you're watching. I'm grateful for little cameras we can carry in our pockets. Pizza. Bits of fig. Oh, it was good. Most of my life, I only ate figs in Newton form. I'm going to write a book about fig appreciation. Call it Think Fig. Spend the rest of my life writing that. I'm thankful for traffic laws. I got to an intersection and I expected everyone to behave a certain way, and they did. We usually just talk about traffic laws when someone disobeys them. So we should appreciate it when people are good. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm going to go get more coffee and eggs that I'm also grateful for. Bye. Well, I'm going to pretend to walk away for a dramatic effect, then I got to turn the camera off. It is an incredibly nice day. I realize if I were doing this in the winter, it would be very different. I'm thankful for heat, Netflix, my bed, my covers. I'm grateful for this friendly community, even though I barely talk to other people. I'm grateful for the talented landscapers in the world. I can set my coffee right here while I show you two sandhill cranes that just hang around in this neighborhood. I'm sick of seeing all the same damn birds, you know? Thanks for the variety. I found an injured bird on my walk. There it is, gonna take it to the Humane Society now. And they took it. I'm grateful. It's a system that appears to work. Ooh, under lighting. The sun is hitting my mouse pad. Grateful for lighting. It still to this day can surprise me. Another thing, my knee has been hurting quite a bit. I've researched online a bunch to figure out how to fix it. I go to the doctor, it gives me the simple thing that I missed. You told it like this, like this, like this for 15 seconds. There's always more to know and there are people who can help. I'm grateful that exercise technology exists. Use my running shoes and my running shirt and my running shorts and I went for a run. And I'm grateful that puzzles exist. I've been doing this puzzle, all white with one piece missing, created by Simone Gertz. I have since learned it's pronounced Simone Yetch. I might have designed the world's worst jigsaw puzzle. It's much more fun than you think because all the pieces are unique. They're kind of weirdly shaped, so it makes it a little easier. And what are you doing right now, Ada? I Are you grateful for anything? No. I'm not grateful for you, but you're grateful for me. The person who puts you to bed every night, you're not grateful for? I'm not grateful for you. Parenting. What about peanut butter and toast? I'm grateful for that. Geese are blocking my way. So I'm grateful to geese for forcing me to get more exercise than I would have. Thank you, geese. Gonna take the long way home. Damn it. This is what I'm grateful for yesterday. Bikes, lakes, sunsets, China, my wife. Some things about the country too. Pop stickers, wuxia films, bao, pretty much all the food, but that has nothing to do with yesterday. My parents, because they watched Data yesterday. Oysters, the crossword, and Patreon. I had a Patreon live stream yesterday just for patrons. Scream to the top of my lungs, what's going on? There is so much to love in the world. Today I'd like to give a shout out to technology. I am continuing exercise because I'm tracking it. I wouldn't be making this video. I'm not saying life wouldn't be good without all this technology. I'd probably be unhealthier. I'd have a different job. I'd have a completely different outlook on everything. Yes, technology causes a lot of problems, but for me at least, it's a net positive. Kudos to technology. And kudos to kudos. Is that still a thing? No, there is no more kudos bar. Kudos to you for having a good run. Last night, China and I got a babysitter. Grateful for babysitters. Thank you. Then we went to a friggin' barcade. All of my dreams in one. Except we're not drinking alcohol. Did have a great mocktail. I'm grateful for decaf coffee so that I can enjoy coffee at night without having to stay up all night. And I'm grateful for sandhill cranes. Hey guys. I'm grateful for ice cream. They always give me too much. I managed to not eat all of it. I'm grateful to my willpower. Everything in moderation. Even moderation. Which is a paradox. I'm grateful for paradoxes. Keeps you on your toes. Just gonna take a moment to be grateful today for dumb episodic television. I've gone all in in the past decade or so on long epic storylines in television. The Game of Thrones. The Breaking Bad. I want to watch a dumb thing and feel good. Which everything resolves itself neatly. Been watching the Orville while working out and I'm grateful for it. <laughs> Today I'm thankful for safe modern vehicles, NPR, satellite radio, seat belts, iPads for the kitties. Who has a lot of kitties? <laughs> well, some people have a lot of kitties, but uh I have a wet 
A Witten? I'm grateful for Wittens. Traveling to visit our friends Jake and Eliza. Jake's making a movie. I'm going to act in it tomorrow. And then we're traveling to LA to visit other friends. I'm doing a gratitude journal every day, Jake. Okay. I'm grateful for you. Oh, I'm grateful for you, man. You were the first person to be like, I will invest in your movie. You led the charge that made other people believe they could put money in it. I brought this up so that you would compliment me so that I would look good. So I'm grateful for that, too. I'm also grateful that you are my friend. It's not oh. just about money with me, Craig. That's a relationship I don't understand. Where are we going right now? Because I'm shallow. We're going to shoot the movie. Yeah. I can't shoot certain things, probably, because it's well, spoilers. Well, no, you can spoil it. What you gonna, what you going to do today, Craig? I'm going to get my head chopped off. <laughs> If it needs to get a little deeper to get more in the front, then that's totally yeah, fine too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that beard is a travesty. That's what you get, clone, for trimming your beard. That's what you get. I know who kills me in the movie, but you don't know. You have to watch the movie. Jake, do you know who it is? <laughs> don't kill the director. I'm grateful for airplanes, dried mango, cookie snacks, bathrooms. I use the place. It's a gratitude journal video. I'm very grateful that you're doing that. Yeah. Easy, Greg. This isn't your gratitude journal. But again, I'm extremely grateful. I didn't know he was going to take over, so we're going to cut. I enjoy our friendship. Do you enjoy our lettuce podcast? Eh. I mean, it's probably my fourth or fifth favorite lettuce podcast. Can you name the other? There's three ladies talking about lettuce. I think that one's a terrific one. Well, there's more people. And they're ladies. Yeah. Six children talking about lettuce. Because yeah. the kids are so sweet. Yeah. Just repeat those a couple more times and then... On your list? You can't Yeah, I like to repeat stuff. What's your top five favorite movies? It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life. Okay. The Graduate. It's a Wonderful Life and The Graduate. Okay. You can't do that. That's not how... One thing about having a very internet-oriented job is that you really can't escape work. Editing video about climb works. I have limited time to get it done and I want to enjoy myself here at the same time. It stresses me out a little. Just got done writing down all the things I'm grateful for. Totally feel better. Taxi Driver is one of my favorite movies. I'm very grateful for Martin Scorsese, one of my biggest influences, obviously because of all the violent New York-based mobster YouTube videos that I do. Here's things I'm grateful for. Farmer's markets, dim sum, beautiful views, generous friends, better call Saul, Hopia, Filipino and Indonesian, flaky pastry with numbiness inside. This journal had this page where it wanted me to do a little stoicism practice. Remind myself what's in my control and what isn't. And actually the stress of work is in my control. I'm my own boss. So I'm going to remind myself this is supposed to be fun. I'm going to make it fun. And I feel less stress about it now. There's a little lizard in there. See it? See it? We don't have those where I am. We do have bunnies where I am, but I'm still grateful for them. Wow, this bunny isn't running away. I guess everybody in LA wants to be on camera, am I right? <laughs> Look how beautiful this neighborhood is. You got mountains, those beautiful pointy trees. I'm like totally like a botanist or whatever. And uh, you got a uh, porta potty. Love these pointy trees. And I love that I don't know what they're called and refuse to look it up. And I am grateful for the downright magical things we can do with eggs and milk. Sometimes I have eggs over easy. Sometimes I have them sunny side up. Sometimes I have them scramble. Sometimes I have them raw. Never had them raw. I ate raw eggs for a month. Here's what happened. That would be something. I guess that means I'm grateful for chickens. Wait, what am I grateful for first? The chicken or the egg? I guess I should also be grateful for the cow. Well, wait, which came first, the milk or the cow? It's one of those classic milk or the cow questions. You ever been to a milk hatching? Everyone sits, sits stands around and watches the milk hatch and a baby cow comes out. Beautiful. I always wonder if people who grew up in Southern California think of it as as beautiful as I do. They might think like, ugh, stupid gross dirt mountain. Ugh, the sun is out. Perfect weather. Ugh. Yes, it's probably more expensive here. Yes, there's earthquakes. Yes, there's fires. Yes, it can get really, really hot, but there's probably plenty to be grateful for. That's the point of this video. Can't help but notice you don't use sidewalks, Greg. Yeah. That's a good video. Thanks. Moon during the day? What the f***? Uh, I told Greg I was going to shoot video and he could do whatever he wants. I, I regret that. Better Call Saul last night? Oh, I didn't see it. I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah, you watched that with me. I did? I forgot. Yeah. I, did you see, well, I guess it's just not very memorable. No, no. What, I, I, I say Better Call Saul and then you say, oh my god, it was so good. Oh, okay. Let's try it again. Better Call Saul last night? Oh! Great. Got back from my vacation. I'm living in a time when I can make silly videos. I can wear the same shirt a few days in a row. It's pretty nice. Unsanitary, but it's pretty nice. Let's just say it's pretty likely that your favorite YouTubers who work at home 
smell worse than they look. I'm also grateful for Ron Howard. Last night we watched the movie 13 Lives. He's really good at real world scary events movies. Paul 13, 13 Lives. He's also good at rescue movies. Backdraft. Also a world full of helpful people that did everything they could to save 13 boys trapped in a cave. Still grateful for apple and peanut butter. Mm. Also, his movie Solo. I liked it. I don't care what you say. I get an email newsletter from Future Crunch. Not a sponsor, but they just do all good news. Great things happening in the world that I was completely unaware of. Progress being made, reducing disease, working towards a better climate, improvements with wildlife. It's all a constant reminder that there are lots of good things happening all the time. We just always focus on the negative. But whenever you talk about good news in the back of your mind, you're always like, yeah, but. You're always looking for that but. Maybe sometimes you just gotta stop looking at butts, you know? I mean, this one's sentimental and obvious, but I'm grateful for my daughter. She asked me to play with her, so I said, okay. And she said, you be Anna from Frozen. She said, what color flower do you want? And I said, red. And she said, say blue. And I said, okay, I'll take blue. And then she said, I don't have any blue. And I, Here's a red one. And it was so much fun. Later, she was playing with a toy bunny, and she asked, do bunnies drink milk? And I asked Google if bunnies drank milk. And Google said, no, they're lactose intolerant, but they do drink milk goat's milk. She said, goat's milk? And then she pretended to give it goat's milk and then she said, no, I'm gonna give it regular milk. Why? And she said, because it's a person bunny. Which makes sense. I'm just glad to be a dad. Mostly because it rhymes. That's a month. To sum up, I think it is very useful to list the ways you're grateful, whether you do it with video, whether you're talking to someone, or whether you're writing it down. It immediately gets you out of your own head and it puts things in perspective. It reminds you whatever thing is bothering you doesn't matter as much as the things you love in your life. It helps shift your priorities to maintain what's v truly valuable. I don't know if you necessarily have to do it every single day, but especially when you're feeling negative thoughts, I think it's a great tool to just whip out there. Probably shouldn't say whip out there when I'm talking about a tool. I'm grateful for sexual innuendo. It's an easy way to make a joke. Okay, let's end on that. Let's end on sexual innuendo. What a great way to end. <laughs>